Good morning, everybody. So I woke up this morning, came in the fish room, and I found that my 125 gallon tank with my convict cichlids and their babies, and Albie, Albie's hiding back there. It's leaking. Got a bucket catching some of the water. It's kind of hard to see. It went on the floor. Got towels soaking it up. So I'm gonna have to take this all down and take it apart and reseal the tank. This is gonna be fun. I guess I'll be doing a video how to reseal a 125 gallon tank. Alright, talk to y'all later. Have a good day. See ya. Alright, so I picked up this 29 gallon tank to put some of the fish in from the 125 gallon tank that's leaking. I actually got a really good deal on this tank. It was on sale for $65, and then I ordered it online and picked it up at PetSmart, and I got an additional 10% off. So it ended up being $62 out the door. It's a whole kit. It's got the top, a filter, and everything. So that'll be a good temporary house until I get the 125-gallon tank fixed. I did not buy the stand, so I'm going to build a stand. I have the boards cut. I'm going to use 2x4s and just build a temporary stand and then I'll, I'll make it nicer with some trim and stuff after I get it built and uh, get the fish transferred over to it, to the tank. Alright, I'll, I'll be back after I get the stand assembled. Okay, so I've just roughly put together the top and the bottom frame. And then these will be the supports that go in between um, the legs. So this is kind of what it'll look like. I'll go ahead and get these screwed together and then we'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys I pre-drilled the holes in the ends. That way it'll lessen the chance of the 2x4 splitting. All of them are pre-drilled. So now I'm going to screw it all together. Okay, so I'm back. I have the, the top and the bottom frame screwed together. You can see how I countersunk the screws just a little bit. That way the, I can put the trim right over the framing when I get the trim all cut. Alright, I'm going to finish putting it together and be back. Okay, so I now got the frame completely built. You can see how I pre-drilled the holes and made it where the screws are sunken into the wood. So now all that's left to do is put the trim around it and the plywood on the sides and it'll be all completed. Alright, so the uh, 125 gallon tank is leaking worse. I'm not going to finish the trim part of the tank stand. But you can see it fits like a glove on this 29 gallon tank. Uh, looks pretty good. It's good and sturdy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill the tank up with water and get the fish moved over. I'll be back. Okay, so this is where I moved Alby for now. He was in the 125 that was leaking. 
but this is the tank he was in originally so he should be fine he's back in here with big mama and the silver dollars and the little convict but it's only temporary he'll be going back to the other tank when I get it fixed So the female Jag that was in the 125 gallon that was leaking, I put her back in this tank with the other two that she was with for a long time. She actually grew up in this tank, so she's good in there for now. So that's where she's at. I'm going to get to breaking the 125 gallon tank down the rest of the way. Then I'll do a video to reseal this tank. I guess that'll be my next video. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Merry Christmas and good night. Tank looks pretty good. I need to get a background for it. So anyway, that's that. I'll be back when I... Uh, reseal that 125.